Yeah. My thing is, uh, I'm like I say, I'm with uh, Joe at this point. I can't be with Bernie because of the way Bernie's people treated us last year when uh, we were at uh, when we was working for Hillary. I worked for Hillary, but had Bernie gotten the nomination, I would have worked like heck to get him in the White House. But yeah, when same, same thing this time, if he gets the nomination this time, I would work like I would work like heck to get him in 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 the White House. But uh, uh, in 2016, when we had our state convention, we had our uh, county convention. When we was at the Paris Hotel, Bernie's people, I thought we were at a Trump rally. They treated us like we were less than people. They they did Barbara Boxer so bad on, when she was on stage. What happened with Barbara Boxer was she hurried up and rushed the gaveling off when it was supposed to be a voice vote. Barbara Boxer was on stage at the Paris Hotel. She came to talk. They cursed at her. I was there. I was right there in front. They cursed at her. They called her all kinds of uh, W-H-O-R-E, all kinds of derogatory names that they could uh, uh, say to uh, a Congress. Uh, Senator Barbara Boxer was a senator, wasn't she? What, whatever she was a Congress. They talked to her bad. They, when we were in our group sessions, they uh, was telling us that they would never ever vote for Hillary Clinton. It was just, it was just, it was awful. And we became kind of fearful the way the people of Bernie Sanders' um, party treated the people of Hillary Clinton's party, and um, uh, even. They were saying then they wouldn't vote for Hillary. They'll go to Trump, and some of them did. I see some of them on, on Fox News and some of them on CNN talking so bad. I mean, talking up Trump. They're, like yeah, the mo the vast majority of the only thing I, I want to push back a little bit on you on that because I'm not going to tell you what you did and didn't experience, but but uh, but according to the polls, like the actual voting numbers, more um, Bernie supporters uh, supported voted for Hillary Clinton, then Hillary Clinton supporters voted for Obama, twice as many than voted for uh, Obama, Hillary Clinton supporters voted for Obama in 20, uh, 2008. So there were twice as many Pumas, if you remember the Puma movement, when they were party unity my A, um, that was Hillary Clinton supporters mad that Obama had won and Hillary had lost in 2008, twice as many of them didn't vote for uh, Obama as many, they, they voted for McCain. And um, twice as many of them didn't vote for Obama as uh, uh, Bernie Sanders supporters voted for Hillary. I'm not aware of those statistics, but I know what I saw at the at the uh, rally in, uh, uh, and and that's why I I don't have any any affection for uh, people like uh, I think it was Ohio State uh, uh, Congresswoman Nina Turner. I don't have any affection for her, nor actress Susan Sarandon, none, because they help get this racist bigot we have in the White House now. I, uh, in the case of Nina Turner, she was with Bernie Sanders doing more campaign events for Hillary than anybody, though. No, that, that's like, that's a documented fact. Like, ma'am, like, no, she was, Nina Turner supported more than, you know, like, I, I, I really, like, I, I, I'm super uncomfortable doing this because I was raised right and my mama told me to just respect your elders. So I'm like, I'm trying to respect my elders right now, but that's just, that's not correct. Like um, Nina Turner and, and Bernie Sanders and, I, and what you experience with regular people that were Sanders supporters, I'm not going to tell you what you did and didn't experience. I know better than to do that. But at the same time, the, the fact is Bernie Sanders and Nina Turner were at more events trying to get Hillary Clinton elected than any of her other surrogates. I went to one of, uh, one of the events that uh, uh, Bernie Sanders did at, C at CSEN College. I didn't see Nina Turner nowhere around. When they asked Nina Turner on uh, uh, CNN if she was uh, with Hillary, uh, she said, I never said I was with Hillary. So that gave me mm -mm, a bad taste about Miss Turner. That gave me a really bad taste. It, this was after, after the nomination, after Hillary had won the nomination. I didn't see her 
uh, try to talk up or go anywhere to help uh, with the uh, nomination. I just didn't. I just didn't. Like I said, I'm not going. I'm not going to tell you what you did and didn't experience. That's not what I'm in the business of. Neither Susan Sarandon. She said that uh, she has stated that uh, uh, Hillary was more dangerous than Trump. So never have any respect. I, I'm not sure if she said that, she but if did. she did, but it, she but did. honestly, like that's clearly if she did say that, that's clearly not the case. Um, I am definitely on the team. We have a fascist in the White House. Let's act accordingly. Um, I think the primary process and the point of us having these debates and whatnot is important. And these conversations need to be had and they need to be had in a more in a public forum with regular people and not just experts. And that's why I come out here and talk to folks like you. I think that listen that these politicians need to be listening to more folks like you and less of these experts that argue on CNN like it's pro wrestling with debates instead of fights you know what I mean that's why we had the the um the debate like it was um and earlier because I want I just want to pivot before we get up out of here um because the event's going to start soon they're going to start letting people in um I wanted to know what you thought about um because you mentioned Tulsi Gabbard and Kamala Harris, who were watching specifically for them as well. Um, what did you think about Tulsi Gabbard calling out Kamala Harris's record as uh, Attorney General of California and as the uh, District Attorney in um, in uh, I believe San Francisco? Yeah, I I, I thought it was fair game because uh, the way Tulsi Gabbard uh, uh, went after uh, Biden the last time. You know, it was fair game. Uh, Tulsa Gabbard, you know, she gave her uh, a little of her own, uh, whatever they call it. Taste of your own medicine, as the old folks say. A taste of your own medicine, you know, because uh, uh, Kamala was spewing out all kinds of stuff. And when Tulsa Gabbard came back to her, and I'm I'm not a great fan of Tulsa Gabbard because she won't, she won't, uh, uh, denounce Assad, uh, but when she told her about her own record, you know, which was, it was fair game. It was fair game. What about you? Do you think it was fair game? Oh, I, I honestly, I am, there, there's a, uh, somebody I follow on Twitter, uh, at Q Got No Rings, he said it best, um, Tulsi Gabbard spirit bombed Kamala Harris. That, that's a reference to Dragon Ball Z. I am a big nerd and showing my age. But, um, but you know, um, I really like it was, like you said, fair game. She oblit like completely obliterated her. But and there was nothing she could say. And that while CNN was doing their best to kind of instigate folks and poke and prod and try to make folks fight. I feel like what she did was she said, okay, I'm not going to fight about this. I'm not going to give you the drama that you want. You clearly want drama, and that's how you're going to let me talk. So we're going to talk about these issues, and it just happens to blend with the drama you want. And I thought that was a very good strategic move on her behalf. And at the same time, though, I think looking at how that debate was handled, I don't think CNN should be allowed to have any of these debates anymore because we don't they don't talk about the policy. They give them one minute, and – you got one minute to talk about things and then you turn around and like number or not one minute. They got like 10 seconds to say what they want to say. 10 seconds ain't enough time. You're interrupting folks. You're not letting them finish what they got to say. And then you're making them attack each other to make it a reality TV show for ratings. It's like, this is not, we got a fascist in the white house. Stop playing. I, I, I really didn't like the, uh, the debate format that much at all. Uh, you know, uh, I guess it was uh, Jake Tapper, uh, Don Lemon, and uh, Dana Bash. I think it were the three uh, commentators of it that night. So it it was, you know, like you say, they cut, got cut off uh, in mid sentence. Um, some of them had some very interesting things to say, but when they started attacking President Obama, they kind of tuned me out. They kind of tuned me out because. He was, he was the greatest. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.